you know, I think our whole team, I, you know, I'm speaking for all the players and the coaches, give UConn a ton of credit. Um, thought from the opening tip, they came out with a, a great sense of urgency. Uh, they cut hard. Uh, they crashed the offensive boards, uh, especially early in the game. They did a great job uh, rebounding the ball for the entire 40 minutes. Um, and uncharacteristically, we, we did not defend at the level that we have for, for most of the year. We take a few questions for the student athletes. Bob down front. Hey guys, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat. Is that maybe for Devo and Anthony? They, they hit nine three pointers, which isn't a ton, but I think they hit all nine of those in the first 29 minutes. They always seem to hit them at key points. Well, what, what do you think of their three point shooting? And how tough is it to defend that with their interior game, too? Uh, no, I think their threes came in bunches, so. Uh, we just didn't do a good job of like stopping the bleeding, and they just got momentum and they started feeling good and making shots. Um, we we when we went over how they make their threes. Um, we guarded the right way in practice. Um, we just didn't do it the correct way every time in game. So that's what happened when we didn't execute on the, on the defensive end, even though we tried. Uh, Go ahead, Bob. Bring the microphone here. Thank you. Um, Kamani, how, 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 you're obviously a great rebounder. How, how, I think they were plus 12. Now, how tough are they on the boards? Uh, they're pretty tough. I mean, they're a big team, physical team. Their guards, all five of them crashed to the board. So they're a pretty tough team to uh, rebound with. Uh, but I think we just kind of beat ourselves today on the glass and just effort and defense overall. We're a much way better team than what we played today. And I mean, credit's off to UConn, they're a hell of a team, but I think, you know, it's kind of on us. Questions for coach or players either one now? One more from Bob here. This is really for all three guys. I, 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 I know it's repetitive, but announce yourself so for the okay. recording, please. Okay, Thank uh, you. Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Um, and I know this one has, is pretty raw and, and disappointing, but really to get to Sweet 16 with the ups and downs and the injuries, it, it, maybe how would you put this season in perspective? Because you know to get to Sweet 16 is you know, pretty impressive, I thought. Just maybe Anthony, uh, Kamani, and then Devo, could all, if you could all address that. Uh, I, think, I think we did a good job of uh, fighting through adversity this year. Uh, we, we got some players back, lost some players. You know, there, was, there was injuries and stuff like that. And then, you know, we had losing streaks, winning streaks. Uh, it was real up and down. But uh, for the most part, at the end of the season, we were playing decent ball. So uh, we, we just we fought through a lot this year. And, and it didn't end how we wanted to. But, you know, we, we fought. That's, that's all I can say. We fought. All right, we're going to take a Zoom call here from Dan Tortora. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yes, please. Go ahead. Um, I mean, you know, you never want to go out. <clears throat> you never want to go out like that, you know what I mean? Um, that's not what we do here. But I mean, looking back on it, I'm just proud of you know my young guys and how they fought. And you know, we we went through a roller coaster this year. It's a tough season for us. And I'm just proud about how they fought. You know, it's, it's misery right now because we lost. But when you look back on it in this group, I mean, we made a sweet 16, sweet 16, and we're doing something special here at Arkansas, and we're kind of building on that. So I mean, I'm just proud of this group. I mean, it hurts right now, but I'm really proud of this group. Yeah, we had ups and downs, but um, we had an ultimate goal, you know, and we weren't able to reach it. And like Kamani said, we just all uh, we just proud for the guys that came in, didn't know what what was coming ahead of them, you know, and um, and we we all came together and, and made it this far, and um, I'm proud of the guys for sure for continue to push through the tough season that we did have. Okay, we're going to take a couple on Zoom. Dan Tortora. Dan Tortora, Wake Up Call, DT.com. Coach, as you look down the line at these student athletes that are sitting here with you right now and you look in this locker room, I know it's, it's tough to end this way, but you take down the reigning national champion and there's a lot of great things that are being built upon at Arkansas. So what do you reflect upon in a positive way this season? Well, I think, um, first of all, it's really hard to make the NCAA tournament. It's, it's, it's really difficult to be one of the teams that 
that plays their way into the tournament, and then it's really difficult to win a game. Uh, really proud of, of uh, you know, the way that we uh, positioned ourselves non-conference. It started then uh, by playing really well non-conference, and and then uh, you know, obviously the way that we played uh, the first two games um, in this tournament, we you know, we played phenomenal. Um, and tonight we ran into a team that uh, passed the ball really well and, and shared it. But there's a lot of great things going on at Arkansas. And, uh, you know, proud of, of, of these three guys as well as everybody in our locker room because, again, it's – I mean, there's not a lot of teams that have been to three straight Sweet 16s in, in the entire country, and, and, and we are one of them. So really proud of that. Um, the culture is strong and, and – um, you know, as a, as a staff, we will we'll start working towards next year tonight. As soon as we get back to the hotel, we'll go to Christopher Heidel on Herb FM. Hey, this is Chris Heidel from Herb FM and Radio in Baltimore, Maryland. Sorry for the loss tonight. This question is for Anthony. You being a freshman, do you feel do you feel like you learned a lot during the season, and hope you could try to carry this over to next year? What, can, you, can you tell me that one more time? Can you repeat that question, please? Yeah, the question is to Anthony. You know, you're being you're a freshman coming in this year. Yeah, you made it over to Sweet 16. What are you going to learn from this year to help you improve for next year and years down the road? Um, I think uh, what am I learning from this is just how hard it is. Uh, you know, because we win two games and uh, we're playing well, and then we just we came out this game, we played against a really good team, and they kind of jumped on us early. Uh, you know, definitely I'll tell anybody who's going to go through this how hard it is and just listen to people who've been there before. They know what they're talking about. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, it was a good season uh, for the most part, and I had fun this year. Any other – oh, Bob down front here. Might, might just make us a two-part two for Eric, if that's okay. Uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas, Democrat is that – um, Eric, you talked the other day about how hard it was to guard their interior and their three, and I know they didn't hit like a crazy amount of threes, but they, I think they hit all nine threes in the first 29 minutes and always seemed to hit them when they needed them. What did you think of their three points? You know, and just how hard is it to defend? And then you all, I think that was your uh, lowest shooting percentage of, of the season you all had. What, what, what did they do to you defensively? Well, we didn't get any clean looks, obviously. Um, you know, the shooting percentage – you know, you, you can go down the line, uh, one of ten, one of five, one of four, zero for two, zero for three. I mean, we just, you know, they, that's they're a really good defensive team. You have to tip, tip uh, your hat off to them, but not a good combination when you're not shooting the ball or converting from the field. Uh, and then the other team is is uh, is shooting at a 60% clip uh, and is making threes. I mean. You know, we came into the game thinking that we, we had to hold them to five or less threes, and they made nine, like you said, in the first 28 minutes or whatever. And, and uh, I mean, Hawkins is as good a shooter as we've played all year. Um, he, he rises up over people. Um, he moves without the ball really well. To me, the most impressive thing is that they had 22 assists. Um, we tried to cause turnovers and rush the quarterback, but 22 assists is, is, is a lot of assists. I know we had we caused 17 turnovers, but um, they, they got inside game, two great centers. They have uh, great perimeter shooting. Guys off the bench uh, contributed for them. And uh, so again, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good team. Yeah, what, one more. This case of Anthony and Devo, um, yeah, how, this, like I said, this was the lowest shooting percentage of the season. How, how tough was that UConn defense, and, and what, what did they do that made them so effective? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I got the shots that I usually make. They just wasn't going in, and I think um, with Anthony, Anthony was getting downhill. He did a pretty good job getting downhill, so – um, I'm glad that he was able to get downhill and, and, and try to keep us in the game. But I think um, 
not just him. Ricky got to the line a few times as well. But I mean, I was trying to get to my spots, but man, they just wasn't going in. But Anthony for sure got to his spots and, and converted when when needed. Uh, they're they're pretty long and athletic, physical team. So, uh, you know, it's the tournament and. You know, they're going to let you play. So when you play against teams who are super athletic and strong and physical, uh, it's always a little bit harder to score. But uh, yeah, they just, I, mean, I guess they just had a pretty good game plan for us on, on defense. And, uh, you know, like Vo said, we took some looks that we usually take. And uh, we'll take again if we get the chance. And just some of it didn't just fall tonight. But uh, they're a great defensive team. All right, we're going to have one final question in the back here. Uh, Coach. Uh, Terrence Oglesby, Field of 68. Uh, you guys have played physical teams all season long, whether it's Tennessee, Kentucky. Where does UConn rank, not rank, but where do they compare to some of these uber physical teams that you've played with in league? Um, I mean, I thought they were physical. I didn't think they were any more physical than Tennessee. Um, but the, but, but they, they, their pieces really fit well together. I mean, you know, the two centers, as I've mentioned, along with perimeter shooting. And then, um, you know, Newton gives them length. Um, and then Jackson's ability to pass from the small forward position. There's not a lot of small forwards in college basketball that can have seven assists. And, you know, he's, he's a point forward. He's not really a, a standard small forward. Um, and they cut really hard. Um, so I think all those things, I mean, I thought their offense was, you know, just as effective as their defense, which is what their metrics tell you is they're really good on both sides of the basketball. Thank you guys very much. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Hey, your, your guys were all class.